Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my booktube channel. My name is Chetna and welcome to the episode 2 of Start Your Reading Journey series. Uh, in the last episode, I discussed about how I started reading and just a story time about that. And in today's video, we are going to discuss few steps or few tips which you can incorporate in order to start your reading journey. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Step number one is starting right away. I know it sounds very simple, uh, but I think it's a very important step. Um, I come across many people who say that they really want to, you know, develop reading habit and they really want to start reading this year. Uh, but I think uh, we do not take the necessary steps towards it. So I would suggest do not overthink and do not procrastinate uh, if you really want to develop a reading habit. Uh, so there are ample amount of resources available uh, on the internet and you can literally read for free. Uh, there are so many ebooks uh, available uh, for free and you can literally start reading in your phone itself next step is again very very important especially if you are a beginner uh, is to do your research so i cannot stress enough uh, to this point that the first few books that you pick uh, will either make or break your reading journey uh, let's say if you start like randomly pick any book and start to read uh, and even if you you know force yourself to read and uh, just complete it but if you do not enjoy the process the chances of you going back to reading uh, the next book are very very less uh, so make sure you do your research uh, get to know what different kind of books are there so before you pick any book do some research as to what different kind of books are there available uh, we call them genres uh, so broadly like there are so many different kind of genres and subgenres. but if i would have to you know classify them broadly uh, there is fiction and there is non-fiction fiction is something which is totally author's imagination so it will be like mostly stories which are not based on the real life events whereas non-fiction on the other hand is based on uh, real life events uh, it can be like factual information or um, you know any biography decide what kind of you know categories will you like uh, to read about and then uh, look for the books within that genre and there are so many books on any topic that you think about for example let's say if you are somewhat interested into personal finance there are tons of books on that so in short choose the books of your interest so that you will enjoy it and actually finish them coming to the third point which is actually similar to the second point is that choose your first book wisely uh, now that you have done your research on what category of books do you like uh, then it's very important to choose the first book and start reading uh, so for that my personal recommendation will be you go to an actual bookstore uh, so any local bookstore in your area any like secondhand bookstore um, that you can find uh, just visit it and, and look for the books in that particular category that you have decided this step will bring you into that reading mindset and yeah browse through all the books and usually on the back of the book the blurb is written which is like a summary of the book so you will understand what uh, kind of book is this and whether or not you will be interested in reading that I can easily spend 2-3 hours in a bookstore just browsing through the books uh, it just makes me happy but if it is not possible for you to visit the actual bookstore there is always the online shopping uh, so you can buy the books from amazon flipkart actually you can go for the best sellers into that particular category i've observed most of the time uh, that those books as those are you know uh, read and reviewed by many people uh, those turned out to be good at least in the initial phase of reading so, but again it totally depends uh, everyone has different reading tastes so even if a book is you know liked and loved by thousands of people you might not like it but nevertheless it's very important to take a chance and so that at least you will understand what kind of books you do not like that is how you you know develop your reading taste if you want a little inexpensive kind of reading uh, then go for ebooks uh, there are some websites which 
offer uh, free ebooks also uh, you can start reading them in your phone in your tablet in your laptop now next point is again very important one and many of the readers struggle with this i struggle with this a lot uh, it is to maintain consistency in order to achieve consistency i think it is very important that you read the books that you actually enjoy and you are interested into so that uh, reading doesn't you know feel like it is forced upon you and it is something that you need to read i've learned this from the book atomic habits i do not remember the exact term for this but uh, it's somewhat related to clubbing different habits together uh, so for example i have this habit of drinking warm water and honey first thing in the morning so now i have you know added my reading time also with that so while having my warm water i'm also getting my reading done so even if i get 10 minutes in the morning i make sure i read uh, for that and now it just comes naturally and it has become like a habit is you can decide what time works for you it can be during your commute before going to bed or during your evening coffee or chai or something but make sure you read every day so that your mind is getting trained hi so while editing the video i realized that i have accidentally deleted the outro video uh, so yes those were all the points and uh, there will be few more um, episodes in this particular series so stay tuned for that and if you have watched this video till here make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time